The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN Monday morning, 8.30 a.m., 60 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got markets in positive territory to kick things off right now. You're looking at the Dow futures up 125 points, 26,447. S&P's positive by almost 19 points, trading at 32.22. NASDAQ futures, how about it? Positive territory, up more than 100 points, 105 points, 10,564. We got to jump right to it. How about that gold contract? New all-time highs this morning, 1941.90. We've backed off almost $9 from that high. But talk about an acceleration. You put gold on a monthly chart. We're looking at the futures, previous high dating back to, pretty remarkable when you say it, 2000. 2011 on this chart 1923.70 it varies a little bit depending on how you're looking continuous contract or nonetheless either way above those numbers gold new all-time highs quite the cup formation and look at this acceleration we've got even if you back it up to where we were September of 2018, so you're talking about almost two years ago, you look at the flash low we had on COVID to 1450, we're up almost $500 from that price point. Price of gold trading at 1931.70 this morning. All right, silver contract catching a bit as well. A little bit of a different story on silver though. Look where we were in 2011, $50. You, you, you hung out there for a couple years. Silver though, really breaking above. You look to where we were in 2013, the high in silver 2516, we're within about a dollar of that level actually reached a high of 2482 this morning in silver all right in terms of what else we have going on big day in terms of the start of a phase three study so the world's biggest COVID-19 vaccine study got underway Monday with the first of 30 thousand planned volunteers helping to test shots created by the U.S. government developed by the National Institute of Health with Moderna. So they're looking for 30,000 participants. That's a phase three. They're going to give people the vaccine, give people the placebo, see how things go. Also on the Moderna front, they get a further $472 million U.S. award for the coronavirus vaccine development. Uh, we talked about the phase three, we talked about the money. So in April, Moderna had received 483 million from the US federal agency when the experimental vaccine was in the early stages, encouraged by the phase one. We believe the vaccine may aid. So they're up in the ante there. Now about 955 million they've gotten as they begin those human trials on that phase three. All right, we're gonna jump right into earnings season. Huge week of earnings, durable goods popping up as we speak, but check out all this. So we've got roughly a third of the S&P 500 and 12 Dow components scheduled to report earnings this week from big tech to big oil. Check out all these names, folks. Already this morning, we got Albertsons, we got SAP. We'll jump over to those two in a moment. You got Hasbro earnings out this morning as well. Again, we'll jump over. That's the next article we're going to talk about. Check out tomorrow. 3M, Visa, Raytheon, Pfizer, been in the news a lot. McDonald's as well. Wednesday, Facebook, Boeing, GM, GE, Qualcomm, just to name a few. And then Thursday, the main course, we get Apple, Amazon, and Alphabet. Apple, Amazon, and Alphabet, three of the biggest companies in the world. We get some oil on Friday, Exxon, Chevron, Merck, Colgate, Palmolive, and Caterpillar. They represent almost, so these, these stocks we're talking about, time back, Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, represent almost 13% of the entire market capitalization of the S&P 500. Uh, it's remarkable, they, yeah. So, and you combine the three of them, we're talking about four trillion dollars, 13% of basically the entire market. They all report on Thursday, should be a big day. Let's just jump over to some of those stocks to check them out this morning. So Amazon, well, that's quite the chart on the monthly. Let's put this a little bit shorter time frame. We're back above 3,000 comfortably at 3,060 this morning for Amazon shares so far. We got Alphabet, Google, 1524 from 1511. 
And what did I say? Amazon. Apple, of course. Apple shares back to 374. Talk about some volatility last week, right? You were almost at 400. You shaved $42 off the price from Tuesday morning to Friday morning. We are now approximately, we're approaching almost $20 off of Friday's low at 374 right now for Apple. All right, we talked about some earnings this morning. SAP out with their numbers, trading higher. We'll pull them up in a moment. ACI, is that Albertsons? Yes, it is. Albertsons, there's their numbers up a bit to 1679, now lower to 1587. We'll jump over to the numbers in a moment. And Hasbro. Lower this morning, down to 68 from almost 78, currently trading at 72.30. We'll jump over to those numbers. We'll start it off with Hasbro. Revenue falling 29% as store closures, product shortages hurt sales, shares fall. So the number, second quarter earnings, two cents a share on 860 million in revenue. The market was looking for 23 cents on 992 million, quite a miss there. Strong demand for its products between April and June. Whoops, I slid down there. There we go, strong demand for its April and June. The company faced challenges globally, of course. We believe the outlook improves from here, the CEO said. Uh, still, nonetheless, Hasbro shares lower this morning. Jumping back to other stocks, we talked about Albertsons. $1.35 a share for the fiscal first quarter, five cents above estimates, revenue in line helped by a 26.5% jump in comp, store, and digital sales. That's quite a number. I think we're all familiar, grocery store, uh, one of the more crowded places during everything going on here. Albertsons trade a little bit higher on their numbers. I mentioned SAP. SAP, they're also going to spin off Qualtrics through an IPO less than two years after it bought the U.S.-based company for $8 billion. So that hit the stock as well this morning. Uh, so, uh, yeah. All right, jumping into other stocks up here. We'll scroll back up to the top. Okay, so we talked about Moderna, right? Two different deals going on, whether it's the government assistance, phase three study. How about Biogen getting double upgraded to overweight from underweight at Morgan Stanley, based in large part on prospects for the success of Biogen's Alzheimer's drug, Adekinumab? Shame on me for not getting that one, I don't think. But Biogen trading higher this morning to 280 from about 270. You put it on some context, kind of like hanging down. I mean, we're going to open at 280, but uh, still been struggling. I mean, look, look at this acceleration that we had up to 375 initially for Biogen, and you're back kind of in this area between, call it maybe 260 and 280, and we're going to open right at the upper end of that range at 280 on Biogen this morning. All right, Johnson & Johnson said proposed IRS regulations involving opioid settlement might materially impact its results. The company said those regulations could limit the tax deductibility of settlement payments. What a bummer that they're not going to get to write off all these settlements that they are in. No, I kid, right? But pretty remarkable. Uh, Johnson & Johnson, we're going to open basically flat this morning. There's your action on Johnson & Johnson. Higher a bit with the market as you get the S&Ps right now up about 14 points. All right. Checking in on the VIX as we round out this first segment. VIX 2613. Right now, we saw the spike early Friday at 2858. Something to keep in mind, folks. Anytime this VIX creeps back down, that's, uh, of course, your COVID spike to 85. Some of these lows, though, you tie it back to early June, low of 2354. July 6th, 2492. And we made it within about five, six pennies 2361 and 2360 last week. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back in three minutes. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Right now, S&P is positive by 14. The Dow positive right now by 82. I got a chart of the dollar index up here. So quite the trend continuing, folks. Dollar lower. I'll pull up some of the currencies in a moment just in terms of the pairing. But there's your chart over the six months. You see the initial spike on COVID. That high correlating basically right to the lows. March 20th, my birthday, why not? Uh, highs in the dollar. We were up to 103, call it almost, 102.99, right? So that is on March 20th. By the span of March 22nd, you came from almost 103 down to almost 98. We consolidate for a bit. This lower end starts on May 18th. You're above 100. You go to 96. You could call that maybe an A to B leg. You got a $4.50 almost from 150 down to 96. You get back to a high of, where are we? On June 30th, we're looking at a high of almost 98. That brings us almost A to B, C to D, a basically 93.50, give or change. Now, you put this on some context, folks, where we could go. Look at that volatility. Let's see the five-year even. And there you go. Backing it up to 2018, you're talking about 88, somewhere, give or take, 88.25. The potential, I mean, we are in no man's land. Tom's talked about it many times on his program, on our program. Uh, where are we on this level? We're right there. You're talking about a low of 93.81 and 93.84 yeah so below both of those levels this chart showing in terms of early uh september of 2018 now looking at potential lower prices across the board and i'm just going to pull up i'm going to jump in here pull up some forex charts because some of these trends folks on uh fx let's pull off we'll start it with the yen okay so Quite, quite the volatility here in the yen. We go to 101.79. We're now down to 105.42, and that is from 107.22. And talk about acceleration on the euro as well. Come on, euro, U.S. dollar. Look at this run we've had recently, folks. Uh, from May 18th, I just walked you through on the dollar. We're from 108, now approaching 118. Just huge moves. Now back to the market in terms of talking about um gold and how that relates to it jump into the gold contract this acceleration gold the low we just talked about it right 
what was the high in the dollar? March 20th. Now, the, I, you might call, I think, a little 14.50. What did we get to on the 20th? 14.57, okay, right next to it. But since that high in the dollar, 14.57, the low in gold, we're now sitting at 19.27. Just huge moves, huge moves in a big way. Uh, the 10-year yield, sitting at about 0.58% right now, the yield. We'll jump to the note and bond market. This interesting as well, now sitting at 139.22. These prices, very important, folks. We're talking about the recent highs we had, 139.22 on April 21st, 139.21 on May 15th. You don't get back to that level. Late July, we're talking about highs there, about 139.13 and 139.14. You do make it to 139.225 on July 10th. But what I want to showcase is we are right at those levels, 139.22 right now. Look at those numbers, right? Right up at the upper end, uh, a yield of 0.58%. Anytime we've come up here, you have kind of jump down to the lower end of that range in terms of 138.12 for price. That would push yields back above six tenths percent. But right now, critical levels with the S&P holding up so well, you're looking at yields rising as well to 139.22. Pay attention to those yields, folks. Uh, we got Fed action this week as well. So it should be interesting shaking out. Okay, in terms of what else going on, politics gonna be front and center as you have the battle on for fiscal stimulus and what shape it's gonna come in. You had Republicans out over the weekend on Sunday, whether it was Kudlow, Mnuchin, talking about the GOP's version of the coronavirus relief plan, ready as unemployment boost runs out. We can move quickly, Mnuchin says. So the real battle here is that what, what is that gonna come in? Now we have another round of $1,200 stimulus checks talking about Mnuchin said on Sunday, he hopes Congress can work in a bipartisan manner, well, don't we all, to approve the GOP proposal, there's the key for Mnuchin, uh, which is expected to have another round of $1,200 stimulus checks. And they're looking at potential 70% wage replacement for individuals instead of the 600 dollar boost in weekly benefits for all recipients. That benefit, which is a key component of the two to two point true that benefit basically expiring last weekend, which was a key component, of course, of the CARES Act. Uh, the 70% wage replacement idea, not a bad idea in theory. As more analysts are weighing in, it seems like that is going to be logistically a very difficult thing to achieve when you're talking about tens of millions of Americans and what rate they are eligible for when you need to calculate that number for tens of millions of people on wage replacement. Whether that's possible, that's turning into a little bit of a debate. Because The key here, folks, is that you can't just have the delays. People are gonna have bills that are due yesterday. And so if you have problems figuring out that number and, and the catchphrase is don't worry you can always get them back pay you can you, you know you're eligible for unemployment backed to the date that you file even if there's a backlog or a delay but that's gonna come to roost you know this is this is exceptional times um, now you, you may see a moratorium for evictions in here as well um, for an extension which would help that but hopefully they get something done because that expired Friday it's kind of now and you heard McConnell out there saying we'll get it done in the next few weeks uh, the urgency doesn't seem to be apparent, but the market, nonetheless, we'll see what happens. All right, jumping over to some of the COVID numbers because I just want to bring up some of the numbers. And I talked about this. I'm going to put out a report later this morning for subscribers of Rocket Equities and Options. I encourage you to check it out on the front page. I'll go over that deal in a moment. This is the last week to get in as a charter member. You can lock in $48.50, which is a 50% savings on the $97 usual rate. Uh, Florida numbers. So I'll jump around a bit, but I had some of this going on in the report. These numbers as of yesterday's recent, so they come out on the 26th as of recent of the day prior. Um, you know, what you're looking at here is that a little bit encouraging data, right? Positivity rate, the one you're looking at is the one down here. This is first time test, okay? This number up here, that's talking about people who are tested multiple times. If you do test positive, many times you're testing multiple times, many days in a row to make sure you understand when you are not testing positive, then you can go around people. This is the number to pay attention to. You. A definitely a decreasing trend in terms of positivity, still above 11%, but we were dealing with in early July um, and the number is ticked off. We had 18% somewhere in here in early July, 15, 13, 13, 12, 11, 11, 14, 13. We're now approaching 10, 12, 13, 11, 11. Lowering trends there, median age at 41, still dealing with 
almost 10,000 cases a day, but that number decreasing as well. And I'm gonna jump over for a second to show that one up. Let me just pull it up, where am I? There I am, and jumping to, so first we're gonna go over the country, okay? Now this is New York Times, the, the numbers varying in many places in terms of the exact details, but in general, you should get a general idea, and for the first time, we're flattening. Now, the worrisome thing here is we're flattening, folks, at 66,000 cases a day. All right, that needs to decrease. But, and I'm going to finish this up when we get back from the break, because there's a few things here. When you look at some of the states, I mean, Florida, for the first time, you could say encouraging. Now, I want this number under 10,000, but that, for, that curve decreasing. We're down from 11,800 for the seven-day average on July 17th to now a seven day average of 10,544. Deaths still rising as that usually lags. Stay tuned folks, we'll finish up this discussion in three minutes. I'll be right back to go over the other information. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. S&P is positive by 12, NASDAQ positive by 86, the Dow positive by 68 points. Jumping back to some of those COVID numbers. So as I mentioned, the curve for the U.S. flatted about 65,000 cases. When you get into some of the states, so the states actually, whether it's staying the same, the, the times would classify it as, uh, now they go by 14 days, okay? But when you jump to some of these states, it's some of the hardest hit states just recently. I'm talking about Florida. South Carolina, right? You see the curve escalating and then peaking down 
as in downward trends, Texas as well. You had um, now the, the key here though is that these states are decreasing, but you're seeing some rapid increases in order for the daily cases to stay at 65,000. I mean, Mississippi, Alabama, Nevada, you could argue in the last few days ticking down. California, one of the state's you know largest population in the state, still rising in a big way at over 10,000 cases a day. But you know, just in Florida, speaking personally, because I live here, uh, encouraging data, you're gonna see volatility, but mask mandates just coming to be, whether it's Walmart, Target, Publix, hopefully having an impact and hopefully that sustains. Now, on the front page of TFNN, folks, this is the final week. I'm gonna put out my report, my weekly report, coming up basically in the next hour. That'll go out to subscribers. This report that I put together, folks, I have a long-term equities portion talking about building a portfolio whether it's for just a long-term investor retirement ira 401k also looking at swing trades and option trades right now you sub can subscribe you select the monthly rate you add the promo code r-o-c-k-e-t for rocket add that code and you'll see the savings reflected give it a try folks comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee like i said weekly reports usually daily updates as well check that out as that runs through july only and also what do we have coming up we got our man basil chapman he's going to be filling in for larry pesavento and folks if you haven't checked it out basil just did a great webinar for his subscribers last week you can sign up for the opening call you got 10 minutes till basil's live sign up for the opening call you gain access to that archive web did late last week. That also comes with a 30 day money pack. Check them both out on the front page and stay tuned for our man Basil Chat coming up. Big week earnings this week, folks. Stay tuned. Live programming all day at TFNN. We'll be right back.